You're listening to Red Gorilla Network, the Kong of Casting. into Real Seduction Radio. Why we went with the country scene this time, we don't know. We're there. We may be trapped in hell, but I love that echo. Echo, echo, echo. echo. Tonight we have to proudly announce Melissa Hill. Ow! Legendary adult performer. And of course, Bukake Behane. Hello. Oh, Brandon West in the back, always got our back and ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I'm here. And then Adam Tarantino, all the way from the great state of Colorado, calling in via FaceTime because, well, it's the 21st century. <laughs> it's time to face. The time. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where do we go? Melissa Hill, tell us all about you to educate our listeners. Remember, you can tune this all in to the redgorillanetwork.com. Click on Real Seduction. Once you get to the SoundCloud link, click on that, and you can listen to us live. But don't worry, if you're trapped in a cave somewhere and can't, you can always replay it. And we've got video rolling this time. so Woo-hoo. You know what I mean? It's getting better all the time. Hell Melissa yeah. Hill, it's time. Educate us. Teach us things. <laughs> uh, which would you like to know? Holy crap. I don't know what There's a hot redhead of... sitting next to me. That's like, just start know, saying seriously. stuff. <laughs> Fuck, really? Let's see. Uh, my name is Melissa. I'm a Capricorn. Yeah. It's I'm like from... fucking hippie there dating. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. I like long I'm walks on Northern the beach. I'm from California. Are you really? Yes, I am. So, mm-hmm. like, <clears throat> wow. When did you get into porn? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I got it. Oh, the first time I saw it. That's. But when I got into the industry it was 1993. 90 fucking three. What made you want to get in the industry? I want to be famous. You want to be famous? <laughs> it was no like a, It wasn't a sexually motivated thing where you just were like. Actually, I wanna... actually yes. Well, it was partly um, convenient. Okay. <laughs> Convenient to be in porn. It's true. Well, no, my, getting banged at work is a plus. Well, I, up in Northern California, I I was a ballet teacher, and I oh, wanted to send myself. Girls. I can to... see that you have the figure for it. You do. Tight little crotch and those fucking thighs, and they're just like I dance. And, and you're like I'm getting a motor. Want me to pirouette? I can jeté. And they get up on your toes, and you see that little camel toe, and you're just like, I'm trying to focus on the art of this, but I'm just getting hornier. Wait, toes and camel toes, those are like... Toes, camel toes, but it all follows up. You watch this toe, (laughs) right to this nice, tight, little... God. Okay, I was gonna say, yeah, that, that's why. That's why my, we are going, Chris. That's why my feet are so messed up looking. But yeah, my sho- my t- bleh. my feet are shaped like toe shoes. Mm. But you have those thighs that are like a vice. That I do. Many Bonus. men have died between Bonus. my thighs. Fuck yes, <laughs> dude. If you're gonna go, let the clit take you down. <laughs> You're flicking the bean. Your life is over. You get to heaven. You're like, dude, really? I want to go back. This is cool. Fuck. It's like you push my. You you take your hand and push it on my head. Ooh. You see what happens when you meet my thighs. Oh God. Glad we're showing above the table because there's yeah. wood underneath. You don't hear it knocking. Oh bam! It's my cock just thinking ballet, ballet. Points, girls, points. What the fuck? I carry, I carry a big black stick. I Ooh. whack it on the floor. Yep. But anyway, I digress. Mm-hmm. The big black stick. No, 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 seriously, no, seriously. We had a, a long black stick. It was flat on the end. And uh, so that if your toes weren't pointed oh, enough, the wow. teacher yeah. comes over and takes and takes a cane and pushes your toes down. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's how a, long that did is you, a porn theme in itself. How long did you do that for? 17 years. What? Yeah, that's so why you're I, I, very professional and good and everything. No, I don't, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, that was like another lifetime. I, yeah. It's another seventeen years has passed since those first seventeen years. Did you ever have a fantasy to like have a scene or, or do something sexual in like a little ballerina costume mm. or still with your shoes on or something? Mm. I did. Did yeah, you actually. ever live it? 
Uh, well, uh, someone, uh, there was a, a, a movie written for me, uh, Ralph Parfait wrote called. Ralph fucking wow, okay. Yeah. Um, it was called Melissa's Box originally. Oh. oh. <laughs> but they, they retitled it um, The Audition, and it was all centered around a ballet class, and my box of toe shoes gets mixed up with someone else's box of toys, <laughs> and insanity ensues. <laughs> But I, I actually wore in that movie, I wore one of my tutus oh. that, that was made for me when I was 13. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Getting calm pink. on old kids' clothes. It, no, 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 no. I was, at 13, I was already fully grown. So. <gasps> like developed as in, mm-hmm. oh my yeah. God, that's criminal though. I mean, you go to jail, 13 gets you 20 right there. That gets you life. That shit yeah. get you life. I, I you know, but there's been, uh, in the past, you know, when I show boyfriends, like some of my, my dance uh, photos. They they're like, they show what I'm born. No, no. They're like, wow, that picture's really I'm hot. And I'm like, that. I'm 13 in that picture. They're like, oh. what? Oh. <laughs> that, stop it. Stop showing me your ballet photos. Oh. I got, a, I got one question because you said that there was a the movie was made for you, right? Yes. So does the writer <clears throat> is he does he actually actually ask you about your life or do you tell them or is it modeled from you or are you making the suggestions? To the movie? Uh, no, actually, I didn't know that that this person had written the movie for me until oh. until I received the script, and um, and I just saw him uh, last year, last XRCO, and that's when I found out he was the one who wrote it. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah, oh, I was like, wow. I didn't know you wrote the movie for me. Wow! But it was it was because um, a lot of the movies that I worked on were always with the same crew. Mm-hmm. And so they just sort of, you know, we just knew stuff, or they just knew stuff about Whoa. me. So it was like tailored around. But, yes, okay. and, but I didn't know that. I mean, obviously, when I got the script, I was like, oh, and it was called Melissa's Box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably yeah. for you, yeah. Um, I was a little upset that they changed the name, but actually, the picture that I used for this promo was from the box cover. From Melissa's Box. From the audition. Really? Yeah. You looked amazing. Strange, bring it all around. Did you notice the toe shoes? But that's 93, and you look this good today still? No, that was, no, that box was, that wasn't from 1993. I was doing amateurs in 1993. Amateurs. By the time I... Tell, okay, you need to explain that to people because back in the day when they'd call a porn star a porn star, they had to do 500 scenes before they earned that name. I didn't call myself a porn star then. People call me a porn star now. Now, because yeah. that name is like, because back then. What were you then, called then? Performer. I, I, uh, mm. yeah, I was an adult movie actress. But, you but I would never refer to myself as a porn star. But amateur, and see, back then they'd have. The amateur series, the pro series, and they had the pro am. So when you got to like your two mm. hundredth or so scene, they'd start booking you with guys that have been in the business a really long time. Well, up in uh, San Francisco, there were only a handful, and I wasn't doing um, uh, what was it called Rosebud, who, uh, who was what's, Alex what's Dur- Alex Dorenzi. It was the anal. That was the anal series yeah. when nobody else did anal. Rosebud. It's called Rosebud, and uh, you never know that meant anal. No. No. <laughs> no. Would you no. ever think rosebud, rosebud. anal? Sounds uh, delightful. It sound, like, <laughs> yeah, it makes it sound so pretty. It's right. so nice because when you go anal, it just sounds so fucking rosebud. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have rosebud scene? So, but, and there was also <laughs> redboard. Redboard was the spanking stuff. Which, redboard. Yeah, up, they were based out of Northern California. And see, now they just call it like fucking in your face. <laughs> bondage. We're gonna tie her up and nail her with a fuck stick, and, and you know, shock her. And right when I was working, yeah. fetish was fetish, and there was no sex in fetish. Now I don't understand. There's, it's what's weird. What's There's happening. some sex in fetish, but it's mm. more commercialized. Back then, it was true to its own original creation. And there right. weren't even yeah. gonzos when right. we started. Yeah, I mean, it, they were they were mail order companies. I mean, they were <laughs> very right. very, Get your very dirty specific. fucking movie. Right, they're very specific to that genre, and you know they stuck to that. Um, but um, anyway, so when I started uh, in the industry, actually, it was a girlfriend of mine from also from Northern California. She, she was the one who wanted to do the movies, and uh, she went and spoke to the man who eventually became my manager, Dan Barros, and. Um, she said, oh, hey, I brought home this information for you. And it was about feature dancing. I'm like, I want to do that because I was a dancer. And I was right. like, but I don't want to dance. I had no concept of what a feature dancer was. Right. I was like, I want to do that. I want to travel and dance so that I'm not stripping 
in my neighborhood, not realizing what a feature dancer was. <laughs> you know, was How did that go? Like, where was like a really good city you went to that you love showing up? Oh, for? I didn't say I ended up doing that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you just kind of shocked. I, I okay. said that's what I want to do. Um, and my manager, he sent me to New York, and I failed miserably. He didn't like New York. Uh, no, he thought I would make a lot of money because I was young and friendly and all this stuff. But I never saw the champagne room ever. Never took a VIP ca- uh, uh, limousine no. ride. Nope. The guys would sit and talk to me and go, "Okay, so uh, which one of these girls is is like the one who's gonna you know put out?" And I'm like, "That one," because they're they were like, "You're too nice." I feel, yeah, I, I feel like you're my sister. I just I don't You've want gotta, to like hustle. You got to get in there, and right? Sell yeah, yourself. and I'm not I'm not that. I wasn't that. Just like it is like for camming now, you just constantly have to hustle all the time. Right, and you know, uh, I remember one time I was on stage and it was a full nude place and they're different than they are in California but uh, this man said to me I'll give you this dollar if you pull your pants down <laughs> and I stood there and I flipped him off and walked for off the buck. stage I was like yeah exactly for, for a dollar buck, oh really drop, yeah fuck you I'm going home I'm, I'm send me back home <laughs> <laughs> this is not for me but um, I yeah I stayed there for three weeks and I made enough money to come home buy my ticket home and pay rent for that month Nice. Yeah. So, like, one day's work, free trip, kind of worth it. It was three weeks. I was there for oh, three fuck. weeks. Oh, wait. You only made rent out of three weeks of work? Yes. That's oh, what I'm saying. No, no, I no, made no, enough no. to buy a ticket home and pay my rent for that No month. way. Yes, way. Because nowadays, it's like, do a, you know, one scene and there's your rent. No, this wasn't a scene. This was me failing miserable at trying to be a stripper. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was the first <clears throat> thing that I ever did. And I came home not, like... Just, I can't stand the smell of men's cologne anymore because... Yeah, wow. Because in New York, they had these things called... I think they're called <coughs> wall dances. Oops. Um, they're called wall dances. Um, What's or, that? Uh, or like a private dance or something like that. <coughs> private they dance, they, yeah. they don't have lap dances. Like you're... Um, or it's like... I forget what they call it. Like dirty dancing or something. You had to stand on a box or something oh. so that you weren't a prostitute. Oh. <laughs> no, no grinding, no lap right. dancing. So there was no touching involved or it was like you're just in a box and they sit there? And It was like standing box? on an apple box. Oh, God. And yeah, because you're technically on a stage. Oh, and then you oh make it. brother. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It was, now officially on a stage. Right, because if wow. I was standing on the same floor as that person and he handed me money, I would be then a prostitute. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So that's why you put a hooker on a box and you're gold. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> and if, if, if somebody wanted to hand you money, you got to be like, oh, wait a second, sweetie, get up on the box. And then you or, can hand them, And yeah, now I can take the money. Yeah. You're not even allowed to like hand strippers dollars, I know that, because that's considered prostitution, too. Really? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. why I always have to right. set it down or chuck it out. Right, yeah. Here in California, you set it down. In New York, you had to stand on a box. <laughs> so that's such a lawsuit, because how many wasted guys would be standing on an apple box and just eat shit? Yeah. And Dude, I'd fall down. I'd be like, bam. No, you didn't. No, I had to stand no, on the, the box. The girl has to get on the you box. You don't get to the box. The man just stays where he's at. We've, we've said box like Apple 20 box. times. It's because yeah. Melissa's box. box. <laughs> I know. Yeah. That's why I'm thinking the yeah. whole time. Vagina just box, box, flashes box, of box, pussy. Box, 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 Pretty much. That, that, that just sounds like a lot of girl. Box, 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 box. <laughs> talking about like, how did we get on the subject of a midget bukkake? Or a midget gangbang. Oh, because oh, we were yeah, talking about were my, talking about my next box cover. <laughs> and like five horny little dudes hung like fucking mules. Wait, five? <laughs> and they're like knee height. <laughs> five, because like three get in there and just work all the holes, and then they're pretty well spent. <laughs> I mean, you are a ballerina. You're like hard as a rock, so they're going to come really fast. My thought. That, I was going to say, according to you. That's a plus. Somebody, <laughs> somebody is on Twitter saying that they're trying to right. I was, message you. I was just reading that okay. as well. Okay. Um, do you want to answer that? Or, uh, Questions and answers. Uh, oh, yeah. on Twitter live. Is this one right? This is kind of cool. Twitter. I, I was supposed yeah. to pay attention yeah. to Twitter. Okay. I forgot. Yeah. Because the phone's over there for Adam. Because I And Adam, we're going to bring you on in just a moment. We're running late. I can't concentrate and write and no, talk I know, at the same I know. time. Um, <laughs> Oh, last week was what great. What phone are we using to do Skype? Skype? Yeah. Oh. I know we're not, are we doing Skype tonight? Uh, we're, we're FaceTiming. We're FaceTiming. So if you want to like 
Yeah, but we're not doing it. We're doing it for like people. Yeah, I know. this was this. Oh. Yeah, no, I've this had is this phone number way too. This long. is a person no, I know. Just give your phone number. This out. is a person I know. Give but me your phone uh, <laughs> really, before I left the house, I said, Have "Your buddy, call my phone right now." I said, "Well, why don't you do Skype or something like that?" Okay. No, if he can FaceTime, it's an option on an iPhone. Yeah. Right. It's like during the call, but he needs to have the setting to a mobile phone because if it's like saved as a home. Well, phone. he probably can hear us talking about him right now. Right? So, dude, yeah. FaceTime, <laughs> FaceTime in. Melissa's going to send you the number. So, Chris. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, Not the guy's you. name is Chris. The guy's name is Chris. Yeah, his name hide. is Chris. That way we hook up, you yell his name. <laughs> I'm not offended. Are you sending him the. Or Bonus. you want me to? Um, do you have his cell phone number? No. no. Oh. How do we do it privately? Okay. You guys talk. DM. Okay. You're going to DM. 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 Hi, DM. Yeah. I'm Chris, like, bow on Twitter. Why are we You are right receiving now? a DM. Receiving yeah. a DM. That's Oh, but he has filthy. to follow you. Yeah, it Crap. does Here. sound filthy. Dick do move. It on my, you can do it on my You are about to have a dick move. Because you have to follow each other to do that. Okay. Oh, God. Wait. So, you can't. Wait. To, to, to private message on Twitter, you have to. You have his phone number. We can call him right now. Um, yeah, we could just FaceTime. Have, have the technology. I, I don't know that. Like, I have to search through my phone, and that would require me to stop talking. Yeah. Because I'd be so like, scroll, hot. Yeah. scroll. It's all about the performance, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't let me ever cut down a performance. That yeah. always, you know. And, and I'm not the type of person that would just hand someone and go, here, do this. You know, the lovely lady with the blue hair. Bukake. Miss Bukake. Hello. <laughs> um, but thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so wait, are you getting a hold of him, or can we? I, she, she's using I'm my phone. I'm trying to figure it out. She haven't done it before. Okay, can, did Here. you text him my phone number? That's or what we're trying. We're trying to message him. Talked about three. <laughs> <years. Whoa. laughs> There's so many ways that you can contact the person, but yeah, it's so but it doesn't oh, okay. connect. Yeah. Yeah. When you yeah. make cooks no, in the kitchen, it. it's just like oh, genius. I don't know what's okay, going. genius. Because for some uh, reason, it embeds. The, uh, the yeah, the that's the new okay. that just started okay. today. Okay. Cool. Embedding codes. Um, Twitter's always doing. Is this, are, we, are we still talking about Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to simply Wait, send you know a DM. We're talking me, about cell make, phones and FaceTime. Sure Twi- er, but er. Twitter always is doing some new weird shit. Yeah, I, I yeah. noticed today. Like now, when you, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is a direct message. Okay. okay. Um, when you resp- reply to someone, the original message is in a, is in a box. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Box. You know what? We should have made ding. a drinking game. Box. 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 Yeah. Box. <laughs> yeah, but pretty much at this point, everyone would be kind of hammered. Right, exactly. No, the, those would be for the people at home. Yeah. Ew. Playing yeah. with their beers. Worldwide. Right. Playing. Right. That sounds creepy. Yeah, yeah, playing with their... Well, we're playing with scotch. It'd be hard to play a drinking game with scotch. You know, we... Yeah, egg. <laughs> we'd have to be really old Scotsmen and... Bang. Yeah. yeah. When, when you stream this, you could title it Dr- Melissa's Drinking Game. <laughs> nice. Why don't we start a drinking game in the next episode? Yeah. Oh, Just fine. Not, but... No, we can start now. We can if you do like. it in the next half. <laughs> but we, yeah, let's start the drinking the game. Next half about. Box. Are we close to a break? Because like my watch says, we started really late. So they'll let us know. Um. Well, we we could in about five minutes. We could have a bingo night and and uh, stri- air the episode and host a drinking bingo night. <laughs> drinking bingo, <laughs> call it bingo. Dingo. Attention players, when you hear the word box, yeah. box, 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 <laughs> you shall take that says it. something. Minute you wrote a European letter, I don't know it. Sorry, it's yeah. a, oh ten. It, oh, that's a one. You're German, huh? It's, it's, yeah, it's the number one. <laughs> and you're like, why? Why does that number look scare me? Oh, it's German. I'm sorry. Okay, no, I'm that not, not going to go where my thought shit. went. Oh, <laughs> Germans? You no, know, I. Well, I'm also part German, but <laughs> you're <laughs> what you he's talking about. It. I think I did. Germans? <laughs> I hope I did. Weird experience with Germans. Oh. Uh, um, Chris, how did you? How did you and Melissa meet? Chris in the studio, Chris, not to be confused with Twitter, Chris. Yeah, not, well, that's <laughs> okay. why it's yeah, not it's internet real Chris. seduction, Chris. How did okay, you and this Melissa Chris, meet? Um, I met Melissa through a photographer because I was the head photographer for AVN <laughs> this year. So I had to take in everyone's images. It was last year. Download, edit. No, it was like two months ago. So, dude, you met me in 2014 January. I was throwing a fit in the middle of the freaking going. Oh, Where the yeah, fuck is right. that carpet? 
it. Give me to the a goddamn year red carpet. Okay, this dude walks up and goes, <laughs> bro, it's Melissa Hill. I'm like, don't act like it's wrestling right now, dude. She's hot. What are you doing? Who said that? You're lying. No, that's how he introduced you to me. Oh, really? Bro, it's Melissa Hill. I'm like, okay, what do you like, Vince Scully in a Dodger game? No, <laughs> that's weird. And, and I'm like, whoa, she's smoking hot. And she was all pissed. I'm like, wow, I'm getting really horny. Hot chicks are mad. I'm <laughs> like, I do that. I love that. I want the hot chicks carpet. mad. I, I run up. <laughs> I'm always that guy going, you should do voice hey, what do you need? You should do I, voiceover. I want to. I would like to. I never. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. you definitely could. And you definitely def could. It's definitely a, a sick, cool ass <laughs> twist too. Yeah. yeah. What do you do now? Um, trying to figure out the rest of my life. No. Um, <laughs> right now I'm I'm a personal assistant. Okay. Kind of at home. Uh, Can we talk about him? I don't know. Um, I don't know. He well, say what you can. Say what I mean, you that, think you can. The, okay. Nothing that jeopardizes anything. It would be the single really? most important rock and roll photographer of all time oh, ever, shit. and that alone. That, but that's not bad, though. Really? No, it's not bad. Because like we have the awards at the hotel where his. How long have you been working? How long have you been doing that with him? Um. Well, uh, off and on for about ten years. Nice. Oh, okay. Actually, so you guys have nice. a good work relationship, and you're happy with what you do, and. Well, I, I met him. We were friends first. Okay, cool. And uh, I met him in 19... Friends first. I can't qualify that. <laughs> I, I met him... We now have matching robes. In, Go like, on. 1997. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So, so it's not like I, I... I looked good in 97. Me Fuck. too. So it's not like Me I'm, too. you know, some chick who just happened to stumble upon, hey, oh, you need an assignment here. I'm available. I can move in and I can work in your house. You know, it was just, yeah. we're friends. Hot redhead. So. Get her in the van. Yeah. He said, <laughs> he told me once, um, he said, you know, when I was younger, I used to envy those guys that had like a hot chick living in their basement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the He's fucking like, basement. And now I have a girl technically living in my basement. Do you have that one room with like the big fucking drain in the center of the room? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, or do God. I just go to creepy always? No, the, the floor <laughs> cement. Go to creepy. Shit. Yeah. With a little eye bolt, and that's where a nice little padded hand comes go to. <laughs> I'm. Yeah, I have, to, I have to pull the chain in order to get fed, and he throws yes. it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, little matching butt plug. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> that changed. So, okay, so you live in a basement. Technically, because it's a it's a three story house. You said box. You were ready. To <laughs> so I say bottom. <sighs> oh, okay, it's close to box. That's you were pretty that's close still to box. Right box. There. Yeah. <laughs> it's a three story. I'm just curious about the structure of this place. For, 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 on, on. on a hill. On a hill. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, so, but you can always tell. So, like, when you Hollywood. say basement, yeah, but when you say basement in California, it's always strikes me weird. I hate, I have right, a creepy well, that's basement. what I'm saying. Well, technically, yeah, it yeah. Could be, to some, it could be considered a basement. I don't, I've never seen a basement here. There's five yeah, there's in not. the city of Burbank, and my grandfather. And, oh, I think it works. So weird. Oh, that's yeah. that's Chris from that's Twitter. Twitter, Chris. Holy crap, here we go. Slide the bar Slide across, the and in. it should be FaceTime. No, it's not. Oh, oh is no. it? Yeah. Well, oh, here, wait. it's going to oh, try yeah, to do FaceTime with him. Oh, switch the camera. Wait. Hang on, dude. Uh, There's an icon to... Wait. No, it's it should be the other way. Uh, Hold on. He needs to put it on FaceTime. Oh, no, we need to move the uh, actual phone so it can see us. Oh, oh there, we there we go. Hey. Wait, how do we turn this around? No, he's, he's gold. There you go. Yeah, but he can't see us. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. in oh, the corner. <laughs> nice. What? How's everybody doing? Good, Matt. What's going on? You're our first caller. Welcome, first caller. I am your first caller. First yes. caller, long time Ooh. listener. God, I thought I was going to be late go. and miss the whole thing because I was watching oh. that metal show. <laughs> nice. Uh, no. Um. So, yeah, did you hear us talking about you? Or your Twitter, Chris? I did. I heard that. I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, let's figure this out. How do we do this? Chris it's our Chris, first yeah, time. And now that we've, now you we've popped our cherry. The, the Studio Chris and uh, Twitter Chris. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Studio Chris, Twitter Chris. Uh, th uh, this Chris here, FaceTime Chris, Twitter Chris, says uh, whenever he watches VH1 Classic and he happens to think about me, Dran Dran comes on because, you know, I'm all about Oh, yeah. that's cool. That's yeah. how yeah. I roll. Time. No <laughs> joke. I'm trying to have my morning coffee and wake up and then all of a sudden... I get a message from her or something like that, and then Duran Duran comes on. Boom. I'd be like, whoa. Feather hair, That's crazy. Velcro wallets, it's vans, slip-ons. <laughs> so, so I finally talked to the guys in the band to start covering that song now. Oh, so. really? Oh, no. cool. Yes. Oh, That's cool. cool. And now I think about you every time we do it. <laughs> We're now getting the five-minute warning oh. from our German. I feel like I'm on Wayne's World. Or, yeah, Wayne's World. Wayne's, Wayne's World. world. Like, kind of, yeah. Five, four, three, two, three. 
And we're live. So, Chris, Chris, uh, Twitter, Chris, what do you do? Here. I'm Eve guy. Okay. Okay, nice. cool. She, it's... Hi. How, How are, are you doing? You? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. All right, cool. And you play in a band. What, else, what other, what kind of style is your band? Uh, we're a cover band. Okay, cool. We just cover classic rock. <laughs> nice. Skinnered? Any Skinnered? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, you have to do Skinner if you want yeah. the drunk people. Please. To yeah. Fucking Skinner. Yeah. Oh. Brady Bird! Yeah. yeah, there's always one guy that yells that, too. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah put, here comes that guy. You know, this is funny. This is like such a thing that my uh, roommate would put together. Friend on a stick? Yeah, we use, have using, like a, a using like a camera. I literally have like a Bogan light stand from 1986. Right. <laughs> exactly. no, I, and I, on an iPhone 6 on a bracket. I'm like, look, it's our virtual friend, Mr. Stick. I, I'm, not, I'm not joking. Like before I went to uh, the AVN Expo, he, he was like, look, you can take this clamp, you can and put, put it, it on there, and you take this other clamp and you put it on the table. Boom. And I'm like, Seriously, like no, I can't so do rad. that. You know, and then he's like, he says, uh, "Any equipment you need?" You know, and, and he was like a, a backdrop holder. And he I'm goes like, to a special box I have of all tools. the footprint of that alone is going to take up more space than I probably have allotted in oh, my booth. <laughs> like I can't take that. <laughs> Melissa, you're forgetting one thing. You're a Hall of Famer. You can do anything you want. Aww. You know, we haven't talked about that from the very beginning. Oh. Melissa was <laughs> introduced to the say the whole name. The Sorry. International Hall of Fame that's in Mike. Las Vegas. Oh, don't it's, forget to talk to oh, Mike, baby. Sorry, nice. it's okay. the uh, it's legends. So the legends of erotica. Oh, hold um, it. Hold it. Mm, sorry. Oh. Well, I'm trying also to. <laughs> Dude, is like, it way hotter when she's holding the mic? You're like, yeah, hold it. Yeah, it looks like a nice so, fat cock. Chris, Daddy yeah, likes when you hold it. Yeah. Oh. So I was inducted mm. into the Legends she's of She's holding an yeah. RE20, just like a big fat cock. <laughs> Back Literally. to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> so the internet, wait, what's it called? The Legends of Erotica. Whoa, better. <laughs> And it's literally like the most famous people of all time have their like footprints and handprints immortalized in concrete in We're, Vegas. Oh, okay, in Vegas. It's in Vegas, and it's like what strip club is it near? It's it's at Showgirl Video. Showgirl Video. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's right where the new Las Vegas meets old downtown yeah. Las Vegas. Right at the border of Fremont Street. Oh, okay. Fuck yeah. 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 Fuck Should be yeah. Cool. When you're over to go do some like really sleazy things, you're yeah. like, let's pull in and check out Melissa Hill's footprint. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. I, I did. I, I did. Now my... All the guys know that they're gonna have the foot fetish thing going on. Right? Oh, you know. By the way, we were trying. Did you? We find. I, I actually found a, a front face of the the woman who took a picture of the feet. Oh my god! Yeah, that yeah. was the whole thing. We had to like hunt down this paparazzi from Vegas from a newspaper mm -hmm. who had photographed her actually. Placing her feet in the wet cement like they do at Grauman's Journey. Because all I had oh. was I had a photograph of everyone's back of the backs of the heads, and so um, if most of the other people were shooting up, like like in her face. Like yeah, she was on while stage. I was on stage, they were shooting up, but all the action was happening down. Right. You know, at my the feet. Foot dip. If it's, I was there, I would have gotten full body close ups. I would have gotten like all right, except this, except quality. this one woman who actually yeah. aimed. You might have got escorted away. From Holy! I would have gotten thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your rosebud. Uh, <laughs> That's the word of the day, rosebud. Rose. I thought it was box. Or bo well, yeah. box. Well, you know what? It, it, it'll have to extend onto the next show because it's they're both so good. The uh, word of right now, though, is we got to go to break. Uh, okay. Oh. And we, I guess we do have to say goodbye oh, to now, we, now we have more time. Paying bills or non paying bills? One, one minute. minute. Okay. One minute. One minute. <laughs> we do need to pay some bills. Get it in in one minute. <laughs> one minute. So, um, so what, wait, what's the name of your band, Chris? We're, we're called The Hacks. Yeah. How do you spell Perfect. that? That's uh, fucking good. Uh, and H A X. Okay. Okay. And oh, you guys, so, you guys yeah. have a Twitter or following that you want to plug right now on the show before we go to break? Um, no, just a Facebook account, just the Hacks Rock and Roll Band dot com. Cool. Okay. On cool. Facebook. We'll check that out. That's cool. And they're in Northern California. You should have like a 74 station wagon, like Country Squire, to bring your drums with. <laughs> Dude, the hacks. Well, You're like, brother, here. A little bit more I than that, that, so now we're actually in a Toyota Corolla. So. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to break. Well, there you go. Congratulations. Life in a Corolla. That's very punk rock. Thanks for calling. Yeah, right. Bye. Bye, Chris. Bye, Chris. Go on, Allison. See y'all later. Bye, Melissa. Bye. And then I can go smoke. Bye, hacks. See y'all later. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you ready to take your music to the next level? Do you need music written for your commercial or film? Are you in need of a voiceover or ADR for your project? How about a music producer? Stage Ritz Studios has got you covered. Stage Ritz Studios is located in Burbank, California and offers a professional creative team of producers, writers, and engineers to ensure your creative vibe is captured. Visit us on the web at stageredstudios.com or give us a call at 818-855-9210 to book your session. Get the Stage Red Studios experience. World's finest smoke shop, Smoke in Heaven, has moved to sunny Burbank, California, right, right off Magnolia and Hollywood Way. Smoke in Heaven remains the only smoke shop in U.S. that guarantees to beat any price in U.S. or it's free. 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 Made in U.S. guaranteed. We care about quality. Mention this ad and receive a free, free. free hookah. For directions and info, that's Smoke in Heaven on Yelp.com. Or call us at 310-754-5005 at Smoke in Heaven. That's 310-754-5005. The Vintage Soul Project, an urban sound with a retro twist. Check out their new EP, arranged and produced by Robert E. Lee. Now available on iTunes. The Vintage Soul Project. Make your shirts dope with an urban appeal? Then check out West West Clothing. Check us out on the web, first of all, at westwest.spreadshirt.com, where we got all the tight stuff. We got hoodies, T-shirts, coming out with a girl's line called Shake That Bear. Shake we that got bear. all the sizes for you. We got the slim small, the mediums, the tight larges. And then check us out on Instagram, B West F 50 or J West 1990 for those hot West West Wednesdays. That means that we're dropping a new article of clothing every Wednesday for the summer. Make, make it hot. So if you want it, you want to say something, something if you want those tight shirts go to west west clothing west west dot spread shirt dot com tight 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 welcome back to the right, real seduction oh look at that there we, are. we have adam adam tarantino my name is Adam Christopher. Well, everybody in the oh, yeah. industry knows me as Tarantino Twice. We can't they see you. Adam, call Hang on, dude. We, we, got, we, we can't technical. see you. Okay, see that little box? That one? Oh. That was reference number yeah. 70. That, that's to reverse it. Push it. Oh, no, it's okay, there. connect. It's very connect. Oh, it's just as the video said. Yeah. There oh, he there is. we go. Yeah. Oh, nice. wait, but now he's. Why is he's he. Sideways. Why is he. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now you have to I'm shake the entire face. phone. Why is it? Why is it? Shake the phone. Maybe his phone is sideways. There we go. There okay, go. now he can see it. Yeah, okay. Oh, there no. Nah, okay, your phone. Oh, I see Chris. Lay, oh, lay your phone oh. sideways, dude. I think he's... Are you on the computer? Technology. Yeah, turn your phone the other way because you're... Boom. It almost happened. Ah, oh, there, there we go. There, there we go. go. Okay. Cool. It is the 21st century. Oh, my God. Get it? <laughs> So uh, now he's probably looking at us upside Did down. Can you see it? No, no, no. We, <laughs> no. We're I, like can see, I can see Chris. In the little box. I can see Melissa Chris. Right there. I'm right here, oh. but I'm right here. No, watch. I know. I can see, okay, I, I can see Melissa and I see Chris. Oh, okay. There you go. Bukaki Behani is going to be under the table. Let me see you. I see, I see, uh, what's that movie with the chick with the short black hair? And <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm like fully thinking like, what, what is she That was Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah, and they do that dance. What's it called? Oh, yeah. All right, anyway. So, Adam, tell us. Okay, you posted on Twitter you were going to talk about a certain movie. Um, yes, I've got a brand new parody movie called Porno Combat coming out. It's a parody <laughs> of the popular video game Mortal Combat, which is um, next week the, uh, the game company is actually releasing their 10th edition of Mortal Combat. So I'm kind of coinciding the release of that video game which is like going to be huge and all the nerds and all that stuff nice. are all hyped about it and so I'm just kind of I kind of did it I did a porno version of it gaming cool. porno parody that's cool that's hot yeah, it's like a, yeah it's like a it's like a video game you know like video game-ish kind of you know like have you ever seen the movie Scott Pilgrim vs. the World yeah with yeah. Uh, 
yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Is this the the movie that I saw you filming a scene for? Hey, what happened? Uh, Did we disappear? Uh, no. No, it's, no. it's just, just somebody's call. Yeah. Oh, we have another FaceTime caller calling in. Oh, yeah, we'll have to. We'll Hold have on, to. Adam. We gotta. We don't have two lines, so there's no way we can do this. Go on. You're talking about shooting a scene. Who was in that scene? What? Who do you have starring in this movie? Who? Have... Say that again. We had a little bit of digital delay. Oh, okay, that's that's my friend calling from Ohio. Nice. So, oh. but anyway, friend from Ohio, you're gonna have to call back in a few okay, minutes. Okay, we, we, <laughs> we, we have Pamela Bela in the movie. We have Bianca Breeze. We have this uh, new girl uh, named Shelby Grimes. She's a tattooed, uh, tattooed young lady. And then we have myself. We have um, Dominic Cross. We have Chris Cock. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be fun. I, I play. Um, I play two characters. I play Jason Voorhees, like Jason from Friday the 13th, because in the uh, video game that's coming out, they actually have the real Jason Voorhees in the video game as like a playable character to fight with. <laughs> so I put, so I dressed up as Jason and I shot, I, I played play Jason oh in, the, God, in a parody so... movie. And you like, you, the... you perform in a scene? Yeah. Cool. Nice. I didn't know that. I, you yes, gotta catch yes, me up yes. to speed. Yes, he performs and directs. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. If I do that, I will end up being a really scary truck stop series. <laughs> I'll grow a handlebar mustache back. I'll rent a Peterbilt and be like, come here, you got that in whore. <laughs> no, it, drive no, around and shoot the fuck. It's, it's, inter- it's interesting because, you know, you get to kind of like aspects. Because when I was, when I was younger, when I was younger and I wanted to get, when I started to get into movies, I wanted to act first before I became a writer and director. Right. So I wanted to kind of like explore those avenues. And then when, of course, you know, growing up idolizing Quentin Tarantino, who um, who is act, who performed in his movies as well as directed his movies, kind of like was like, oh, well, if he could do it, then I could do it. And nice, could see right. It. So it's just like as I I was influenced to do that stuff. I was just like when I when I, when I first started again, wanted to get into porn and direct porn. I thought, well, maybe I could try and perform for a little bit. It's not it's not a long term thing. Like if if I want to. If, if, to say that I want to do perform both perform and direct, like certain directors nowadays, I think there's one that I'm not going to name him, but I'm not going to be, you know, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning, going to lean toward more into the directing full time, but I'm just right now experimenting, I guess, so to speak, with just performing with. Oh, it's fun. Come on, dude. Come well, on. You're I, shooting a porn. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. I well, I, my, my, I think you could look a hot girl in the eye and go, we should work together. He does. That was my advice <laughs> to him was is he that? should. We he should, should bang with a camera in the room is what it's called. I'm my sorry. advice to him was that he, sh- while he's starting out and establishing himself, he should pick one. Either direct and concentrate on that or concentrate on being a performer. I thought you met one girl and then no. around. No. Concentrate on, oh. like, if you want to be a director, establish yourself as a director. First. I think that's a smart, some smart advice. Ansel Adams always said, Thank you, you can do many things good or one thing great. Yeah. So I've always- exactly. And I'm, I'm, I just, it just, it's just, it's a thing. It's a phase that I'm going to. I mean, like I said, eventually, <laughs> I do want to direct full time, but, you know. But you'll um, also jump into scenes with a guy noodles. <laughs> Come on, dude. Any soldier gets <laughs> in there and goes, I got this. We if you got a problem here, because I can finish it if you want. Bam. Well, actually, I actually, I actually did have one incident where that happened. Yes. Wow. Stuntcock. I actually oh, had step in when, when a male performer that because it was a it was like a, a like a three guys three it's like a three guys and a girl scene and I was just I was doing the still photography on it and uh, my buddy was my buddy Charlie was directing and uh, the guy <laughs> that we had one of the guys that we had showed up drunk and he was like sh- like just completely wasted off his ass and. and so, <laughs> and he well, I mean, noodled. Chris, well, I mean, it was the it was, Chris. I mean, it was the point where he was just like it was causing, it was causing problems on set because the the, the performer uh, and it made and, the girl uncomfortable. Were, we're not having, we're not having it. So uh, you know, yeah, you so can't just, do that. No, it, it was just it, it was it was it was just it was it was in poor taste. You know, he, he didn't really it was it was just he was all over the place. And so the performer, or the, my buddy, the director Charlie said he pulled me off the side. He said, Adam, look. Um, we need this done. You know, can you step in? Are you tested or ready to go? I said, yeah, I'm tested. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so you planned on banging if you're walking right. around with a test. Well, to be fair, though. Oops, was, I just happened that, to know my dick is clean. Wasn't that, <laughs> didn't that situation take place in Las Vegas? So, yeah. yeah, yeah so, like, so the guy was. Go, so that's ahead. literally how you date in porn. Show your test. Whip it out, baby. There's yeah. no other requirement. No, so, you so, start so, banging. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just 
it's it's it's, it's I'm, I'm involved in the industry so i do take pro calls so i do tests just because i don't perform in a lot of perform every other day because you want to get laid doesn't bro. mean i can go get yes i mean i it, just want to get laid bro it's like a snoopy phone right now i'm sorry dude. you just want to get laid bro Camera guys don't walk around with tests in their pocket going, hey. Well, because he's not a camera. He wasn't a camera guy. He was directing. I'm just giving him a hard time. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm just giving him a hard time. Come on. Just he giving was, him a hard time. See, well, listen, he was, he, he was being the BB right there. Yeah. Was, what? You're being the ball buster. That's usually my job. Nice. <laughs> the BB. The BB. I'm yeah, a ball buster. We had this conversation a couple days ago because she was giving me shit about um, something I was posting. Oh, no. I'll tell Chris what it here was. We go. Here we go. It was no, about a, it was about a no, sporting no, team. No, it was no, about no, a no, sporting no, team. No. And, uh-huh, because... How he, he's a Broncos no, no, fan? No, no, no. I'm, a, I'm a 49er fan. And I'm the and Raider he's fan. he's a Raider fan, and you're a Broncos fan, oh. so there's going to be, like, a brawl. A rumble is going <laughs> to happen right here. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so you did the Mortal Kombat movie. Yes. And that's going to be releasing when? That's going to come out April 17th, which is two days after the Mortal Kombat 10th video game comes out, I think, April 15th. So it'll be out April 17th on my website, TarantinoXXX.com. And a day after the XRCO Awards. No, the, the XRCO is the 11th. Oh, God, I know. I keep going back to the old date. If the promoters heard that, they're going to freak out again. I know. I know. I'll be there on yeah. the 11th. <laughs> Sorry. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be over there on the 16th. <laughs> it's so funny because I heard about that on set that the date had been changed and my boss didn't tell me. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. They kind of freaked out when I asked. Hey, bro, when's the, when's the awards? <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't know when it is. <laughs> so, um. True story. Oh, Bukano, here we go. Photo. Uh, oh, yeah. You're, Are Chris, we tweeting in real time at all? Are Chris, your, your phone needs to be charged. My phone needs to be charged? Uh-oh. I know, but we can't plug it into anything because there's probably so, no iPhone 6. So, Ad- Adam, um, how was it um, at the Femdom Awards? Yes, talk to us about the Femdom Awards hosted Femdom, by Glenn that King. Was fun. That, that was a, the Femdom Awards was, a, was like a totally different, unique experience that I've ever been a part of you know it was like the small time award show like the first ever award show and it was in this small time you know small time <laughs> studio and glenn king who i'm really good friends with you know he personally invited me to come out and and, uh, and i was like yeah you know i'll definitely be a part of something like that because you know i'm a fan of femdom stuff certain for certain femdom stuff and so um yeah it was uh it was it was fun and meeting chris Meeting Chris there for the first time um, was was cool, and uh, <coughs> talking with him a little bit, he, he was it was it was good. It was I, I, had, a, I had a blast. It was it was fun. It was fun. Avian sent good. me down there because it was a unique thing that the fetish world that door's finally opening up to like mainstream porn. So hence the Femdom Awards, it is, it is, it, you know, being it, held it, at the original it, Straight Up Studios. Where God, we shot movies for twenty years, wow. and now Glenn has the place. You know, Straight Up Studios right there on. Uh, Ingemar. No, not Ingemar. I don't think he wants you divulging the information, though, where he wants it. I, I'm not laying out addresses, bro. We're good. Okay. <laughs> we're we're going to be posting social security, credit Shame accounts, PIN you. numbers, ATM accounts one moment away. Give me your hand. Oh, Stop God. that. He freaked, God, that's he freaked, he freaked out on me when, I, when he texted him. me the address. He's like, he's like, Adam, here's the address of the place. Don't, don't, don't give anyone. that address out. I'm like, okay, Cops, dude, bro, I'm going to get that the FBI. I know. He actually, he actually told me it was in another city. I'm like, so where are the awards at? He's like, ah, Woodland Hills. <laughs> That's just the valley, really, because you can't, there's no distinct borders between Northridge, Chatsworth. No. It's just, it's all the same. Well, there's a big difference between. Well, when I miscommunicate with her about where certain things are, then she, then she gives me shit. She becomes a BB, and then I get, I get grief from black. I'm a chick. What do you expect? Right. I mean, Women are allowed to pretty what, much do whatever they want. That's what we do. All right. Yeah, and you just have to go, okay, that's right. Mm-hmm. And next time, do better. Um, so, how many? When did you start? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just start asking questions. No, please. So, Adam Tarantino Triple X, when did you start uh, entering into the adult industry? I entered the adult business. Uh, I've been let's see, I've been in the biz for about four and a half years. So, nice. so let's see, around 2010, like about late 2010, I started. Um, I've I've always been a fan of porn since I was, you know, 14, 15 years old mm. in the late 90s. During and during during laser discs, right? Was it like during <laughs> yeah. laser discs? Yeah, I was I was VHS, he was laser disc. You, oh, <laughs> God, I would love that no, laser like, disc. You know, when, porn. I, like, when I when I when I was younger, when I was a teenager, I wanted to become an actor and then I wanted to be a writer and I was, you know, a fan of mainstream movies 
course, obviously, Quentin Tarantino was a big influence. Really right. Influence. Rob Rodriguez was an influence. Nice. And David Cronenberg was a, was a was a favorite director. I like horror movies. I like kung fu movies. I Wait, like, nice. You know, can, the weird. Can can I I have a request? Can you tell the story about your college paper, your college project? Which college project? The the one from the Bad Wives one. Okay. Um, in 2004, <laughs> I, I, I attended the Co- Art Institute of Colorado. At nice. My college, I was studying film, studying film there, um, and uh, I did a student film called the uh, the Grocery Bag Boy, which was based off of Melissa's um, award winning movie Bad Wives, directed by Paul Whoa. Thomas. Is that I an apple it. cider? I see. Is that a cinnamon Sorry. apple cider? Sorry. Um, yeah, no, it, it, he, did, he did his college project was based off the character that Stephen St. Croix played in the movie Bad Wives. No way. Yeah, so, okay, go. Go yes, on. <laughs> yes, so I, I, did a, I did a short 15-minute movie where it was called the, the Grocery Bag Boy, where I dressed up like Stephen St. Croix's character in Bad Wives. You had the, nice. the white... The white out, the white grocery outfit with the uh, the apron on, and at the time I work, I was working at a local uh, retail chain um, as a as a cart boy, and so it ends um, in March. <laughs> nice. Go on. Go on. Oh, anyways, um, so I was, uh, so I was, yeah, I was, I was a cart boy for this retail chain, and I was, I was pushing carts as a job, and, and while going to college, and so I, I, I. I for my school project, I, I had my buddy follow me around the parking lot while I was pushing carts, and the, the, literally the entire student film is just me with this like devilish grin on my face, like just trying to imitate Stephen St. Croix's facial expression from nice. a right. scene that movie, and it's just me, basically me pushing around carts with this like eerie music, like kind of like this devil look, and like I said, me dressed up completely like how he was in the movie, and it's just 15 minutes of me just doing that. I think that's just, that's crazy awesome, actually. So you could like peel that off into a blowjob series and go from right. car it's to like, car. It's a, a movie based on Fuck yeah, the, dude. the one char- one character... <laughs> In Bad Wives, that's, I mean, yeah. I think that's kind well, of cool. it, the reason, Well, the reason I did it, Chris, is because Bad Wives was such a big, influential film, you know, in my career. Right. You know, being a teenager, looking at that, and, and being uh, and, and being a fan of Melissa's at the time, being a fan nice. of Stephen St. Croix, being a fan of Paul Thomas, everybody that was involved, <laughs> I was fans of from previous films. So, and that was just one of the, the biggest influential things of, of my career. So, to do something like that in honor of that, to be in, in it just for being a little student film. Oh, God, uh, come on, that's amazing. Was, was uh, pretty cool. That's very cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. My first student film got banned. Oh, that sucks. I was at City College, and our film instructor was like, shoot a band, shoot a band's video that they don't have, that they should have. So I took some random Bob Marley song and just filmed lots of hot chicks running around the beach. Naked? No, 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 With no. Boxes? I was only eighteen. <laughs> With boxes. boxes. Okay. That's that's drink reference number seventy two. Right <laughs> did you, uh, uh, Adam? Did you hear that we started a drinking game called Box? <laughs> yeah, because Melissa says Box so much. I think it was Brandon that said it might be a good idea to start a drinking game. Yeah, I believe so. Brandon is always <laughs> uh, Brandon yeah. is always about the drinking. Brandon, no. who has honored all well, seventy one. National Beer Day today. Ah, oh. Right. oh, good call. National good. Beer Day. I'm Right here. What? What? That's not beer. That's they root do that beer? April twentieth. April twentieth. No. National Beer Day. No, that's like beer Green Day. day. No, that's <laughs> Green Day. That's Earth Day. That's Green, green Day. day. Well, four twenty is well, four twenty is huge where I'm at right now. Is is yet yeah, marijuana? State of Colorado legalized marijuana, and they've actually done some of their money as opposed to California that said it was all going to the schools. <laughs> I was gonna be all. She's trying to swallow the uh, mic again. Naughty uh, Twitter uh, pics. Uh, 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 you gotta go. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit! <laughs> wow. Substantial cock on that one. I know. Oh, 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 oh. Where you're like fighting it. Down. Did you ever have a blowjob scene that was like so intense? You're like, whoa. Like you came out of it just going, no way. This dude's hung like a phone pole. Um, I guess that. Well, they all were. Um, well, yeah, it's kind of their. Problem. I, I, I well, look. I, I like to consider myself uh, like intense at all times. So there was mm. never one that wasn't awesome. I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. But um, no, I think it would be Rocco. Rocco to Freddy. Oh shit! Like I literally walked oh. away from that scene. Do you know by Rocco's to Freddy? Water yes. was coming out of my eyes. Just like I was just. <laughs> My boyfriend is obsessed with him. I filmed that guy in 1994 for the movie Vampire, V-A-M-P-Y-R-E. 
Wow. Holy Vampire. fuck. It was crazy. <laughs> Vampire. He was like this count that lived in a castle and all these cats would walk around and then he would snap his fingers and they turned into the hottest, hottest chicks. Wow. And they would bang and I would take pictures and I'm like, Wait, you're I telling me this is, this is a career option I can make <laughs> <Right>. today. <laughs> can I check that box off? Okay. Oh, 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 that needs to be, it, we need a dinger or something ding, like that. Ding, ding, every ding. time. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Now all the fun uh, stuff's going to be here when I'm not here. What was that lame name I came up with? <laughs> you said Melissa I Bell. highly don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, Adam, where are you going after you uh, release your film? What's next? Where are you going? Um, right now I'm re I'm working on the relaunch, rebrand of my website, TarantinoXXX.com. And what, what's that cool. all about? I just, it's just kind of like... I, I, when I first started running my own website, I, I started a, like a low budget um, uh, production company called the Triple X L Ray Network, nice. which is a parody of, of Robert Rodriguez's L Ray Network. Yeah. Which is on TV. And I started that, and it kind of like, you know, I was putting some films out on my own, doing video, video on demand stuff, and starting my own streaming website and doing all kind of the independent scene of, of porn. And so it wasn't. And now, and I and I and I have had that up for about God almost a year now, and it just it just it, the name hasn't really. I, I was talking to a couple of friends of mine who were like, in, you know, interested in, in, in helping me with trying to put together the site and and put some stuff together, and they were just like, what you're doing is kind of like the name and the the logo. It's kind of like it's not really coming off too too well. It's wasn't not, it? It's wasn't not, it originally called Grindhouse Triple X? It was called Grindhouse See, Fuck X. yeah, that sounds dangerous. I'd watch it. Yeah. That. It, it, so he's, he's yeah. Potential chicks no, and, and like, wife beaters so, crying in a basement. So, it, but, like, and then, and then, but talking to some of my <laughs> producer friends and stuff like that, they were, were like advising me. So they're like, you know, you're, you're well known. You're, you're pretty much well known as Tarantino Triple X. That's what everybody in the business knows you as. Right. So why not just run with that? Why not just put Tarantino Triple X presents on everything and mm-hmm. that why people, it'll gain people's On Grindhouse. So I was like, right. Hey, so well, you know, it's just kind of like a, it's kind of like a re, you know, you go, you go to those phases where you're trying to like, you want to do something different. That's so this is now off. the third name for your website, then. Nice. Well, it's not. It, I've always had TarantinoXXX.com. Oh. But I never actually put it out there to where it's just going to be. That's the what the how the movies or how the how the how my content's going to start out with. So so the trip so the triple XL Ray network is no longer. Yeah, it's going to be no longer, and, oh. and it's just going to. It's just gonna now focus Aww. on just being terrible. Oh, uh, we should have a we should have a memorial service for Grindhouse Triple X. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, Grindhouse sounds gnarly. Triple X already at work. Tarantino on well, Grindhound. Well, Chris, Grindhouse. the reason I changed is because Adam and Eve did a movie called, called Grindhouse. Grindhouse Triple X parody, and it's just like, and I don't, and then, and then when I when I first started, it, first started, this was 2010. When I first started, people were getting the film and my website confused. That's and right. I'm like I had nothing to do with that movie. That's all right, though. Wanna, yeah, but you, you could get traffic from That's those people. That's massive, <laughs> massive fame off another company's That works well in your mission. favor. <laughs> yeah, that works well in your favor. Might not for I'm them. Sure <laughs> Bob and all the folks in North Carolina be like, God damn, that boy yeah, hooked like, it up. I was looking for the 1970s grindhouse, and I got this porn website. Yeah. <laughs> Adam and Eve, the only corporate porn office you can hunt deer on the front porch in. Uh, that has wait, no reference to shit, but when I was there to do one of my meetings... A uh, guy from shipping's like, hey, you hunt deer? I'm like, fuck yeah. He's like, killed one right in front of yard right here. <laughs> What'd you do? He goes, punched out for lunch and stripped him down. Oh, gosh. Five minutes to the end? Yeah. See, I told you you don't want to leave. It's too much fun. Um, yeah. we, need to, we need to disconnect your phone's going to, your battery's going to. Adam, go. we got to let you go, bro, because I'm getting down to where this thing's going to die. The battery's going out. Thank you so much for coming out. And it, was gonna, an honor. It, was a, it was an honor. It was a pleasure. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, everybody. Um, go to TarantinoXXX.com. Follow me on Twitter at TarantinoXXX. Thank you. Thank you to all the listeners. It was fun. I had a good time. Congrats Bye. on the movie. Here we go. Now, hit, I'll see everybody at the XRCOs. If I don't see anybody else, okay. nice. Bye. Like it. Okay, here we go. Boom. <laughs> Done. Okay, we need to plug you in. Holy crap, who's this guy? This is this is Jason from That's Ohio. That's hot. Some dude in the car from Ohio with a fucking beard. Hey, He's bro. He's a killer beard. What are that, you that's doing? That's funny. He's Killer Kel. Oh, <laughs> it's meant to be. Oh, wow. It <laughs> it's meant to be. Let's get it out. Uh-huh. Hi, Chris. Hi, Melissa. Hi. What are you doing, man? Uh, I have my pretty diamond pendant on. Just FYI. I am actually... Oh, from him. Uh, 
well, I, I'm dark right now, and it looked like a serial killer because I'm in my car. I'm yeah, dude, it car. looks like you're ready to fucking, you've already stabbed. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a bag like, in the trunk. Like two women, but yeah. they don't count. Because exactly. uh, they're women? or <laughs> Yes. Kidding. Oh, no, kidding. Because, we're going to get a backlash no, because, on that. Because they deserved it, that's why. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. No, I, um, yeah, I know, bad joke. No, I'm, coming from the bars. I'm coming from the bars in northern Kentucky, uh, so that's why I'm Kentucky, in where they have whiskey. 11, 12. Wait a yeah. second. So you're driving, FaceTiming, and uh, no, not driving, having... I'm, uh, I'm drinking, I'm shooting just, my gun. Just had, just had a drink in Kentucky. <laughs> you're in your go. car driving and FaceTiming. The original home of Kentucky bourbon. He's like, hell yeah, I'm driving. I'm doing and, goddamn and, 90. And notice, and notice he's, still, he's still hardwired to the phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's not. Uh, yeah. Well, yes, I have the headset in. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dude, I would pay good money if we could have red and blue flashing lights right behind your head right now. <laughs> Oh, don't say that. that don't shoot that. That's terrible. Don't say that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like that as a prank. Yeah. Oh, no, as a that's prank. That's some shit you don't need. As a prank. Oh, oh, I think, I think, I think. I think he's, he, his eyes are already making sure that that's not going to happen. No, as a prop, dude. I meant like a uh, setting. Like a like scene. Yeah. You're sitting in your driveway no. just Oh, that's wasting. kinky. No. And it's Melissa no. in a cop no, uniform. No, not even as a prop. No, not even as a prop. No, absolutely not. You obviously <laughs> haven't <laughs> spent much time in California, It's got to be a California stupid yeah, joke that seriously. we joke about cops. <laughs> Well, well yeah, no, that's true. not cops, that's props. True. We're joking about props, props not props. cops. In the box. <laughs> ah! There you go. Oh, drinking reference number seven. We're taking four. another drink. Don't break hey, it. Hmm? Everybody's got a DUI in California. No, no, uh, no, 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 that is not true. No, I don't. I've, I've never. Four. Yeah, I don't have I've a DUI. Never had uh, one. I've, I've some. never had one. Well, neither do I. Why is Chris uh, this Christmas going on? I walked in with yeah. OJ's attorney. Yeah, yeah these two chicks right here have no DUIs. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Too I can't see them. Oh, there's two chicks. Oh, right here. It's just me and Melissa. I'm on the other side of the table. I can't see them. Hello. Oh, hey, Blue. Hi. Hi. That is Hello. Bukake Behani, our civilian. Yeah, I'm the other chick, huh? Uh, <laughs> and, and, blue. And, then, and, then, and then we have another one way over in the faraway place. Uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we have a female engineering our show There's on Real Seduction. How hot no, is that? Matched. That's pretty no, fucking it's pretty hot. Matched. There, it's there matched. are more women in that room than they were in a Kentucky bar. Oh, oh, really? A bunch of bears in there? Uh, That's Midwest bars. <laughs> Midwest, yeah. Midwest bars, yeah. I said. A bunch of yeah. bears Wait. in that bar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait. Uh, Wait, can I be the special reporting person from, like, Midwest? Like, you guys can call and go, what's the report in Midwest? And I go, it's awful. There's no sex, no porn stars, yeah. no money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll, call it, we'll call it Kentucky Blue Balls. Yeah. Oh, that would There's be awesome. Nobody. <laughs> I, I, I fully support that idea. We're getting down to the last minute. Ask your question. Anything. Fuck. Okay. Um, <laughs> this guy rules, dude. Yeah. Seriously, he was... He, mm, never mind. Mm. I, no, I, I, that I, sounds I, like no, a... Mm. No, no, no. No, no, no I, 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 had, I had invited him to be my date at XRCO. Oh. I was about to fly oh. in my date from I Ohio. Could, I couldn't make it. Couldn't. I had a death. Oh. I, my, my father passed away. I couldn't make it. Oh, oh well, that's so a good sorry. reason. We're that starting here. That five years to get over. Shit. Oh. So, yeah, total legit excuse. But right. um, my question would be, what movie... I, you guys can't fake it all the time as a porn star. Okay. So you say. So what? What? <laughs> well, so you say. What movie, or, or if you can recall, oh. what oh, movie? Oh no, no, did no! You... We're really going away. Right, hurry, hurry, hurry! What okay. Mo- They're killing what us. What movie did you feel it? Like, what did you actually? What movie did you have an orgasm in? You were oh. like, oh fuck, that's it. Crap! Oh shit! Go to it. Go uh, to uh, it. Uh, 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 I say, uh, one, suge- right? suggestive behavior. Ooh, suggestive yeah. behavior. Yeah. Anyone was any any scene I did with Stephen St. Croix, like yeah. Pretty much because he was mean to me like that. Oh. I'd be like, "Don't make me break down in front of all these people. I'll kick oh, your ass." Because I tried to keep myself, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play this okay. song. Thanks for calling. Thanks Bye. for listening. Did I, did I win for best question? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 And this is Nick Good. Manning. Nice you Good night. Thank you, man. Bye. This yeah. is Nick Thank Manning, you. early grade, taking us out. Oh my God. Check really it out really on good. iTunes. Thank you for listening to Real Seduction. Thank you, Melissa, for being a guest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Brandon. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, uh, uh, thanks uh, Red yeah. Gorilla Network. Right. Red Gorilla. Yes. <laughs> <Long on. laughs> thanks, Brandon. He was like, thank you. No.
Thank you for listening to Red Gorilla Network. Make sure to check us out at redgorillanetwork.com for more information on our shows, hosts, guests, and artists. If you'd like to be featured on a show, you may do so by contacting us at 818-855-9210. Thanks for listening. Red Gorilla Network, the Kong of Casting, is broadcasted in Burbank, California. The content on Red Gorilla Network does not necessarily reflect the CEO, staff, host, guest, or artist on the station. Yeah.